Finally, I'm working on something other than the crankshaft and main bearings. I have the rear main bearing, the cotter pins in to lock the nuts on the cap. And this is the cover that closes the hole in the back of the crank. So now I have to work on getting that fitted. To close this hole at the back of the crankcase, that's the flywheel back there. The cover I showed you has to fit down in here, like this. And it bolts on, and when I took it off, if you can see here, there's a space, man. It's like quarter inch, and down on the sides, it's like three-eighths of an inch that has to be filled. When I took it off, it had looked like some type of a felt material in there. My plan is to take this as leather. When I, some of you may or may not know, but I was a UPS driver for close to 35 years. And I would pick up stuff wherever I could. I'd find things. And 30 years ago, there was a, shoe factory on my route when they still made shoes in the states and I picked up some of this heavy real thick leather scrap that they used for making soles when they used actual leather in soles and I'm going to cut a strip of that and put it in here like this and also strip on each side to put in between on the sides I'm going to have to build up a couple layers on the sides because it has to be thicker there. And I might have to use one thick layer and one real thin layer here to fill a gap in properly. So I'm going to go ahead cutting pieces for that. Now I cleaned the surfaces there and here, but first I'm just going to glue the strips on that side and this side. Uh, and put the plate in and press down on it, put pressure on it to glue those in place first. Now I have the strip, I have this strip in place, and I have this strip in place. Now I'm going to drop the plate down in place and put pressure down on it and let those set up overnight. I'm going to drop the plate down in place. So now I have the plate in there with those two pieces glued in place and I'll wedge the stick to the ceiling to hold it down tight and I'll continue on with this tomorrow. I'll lift my that back cover out and see how those two pieces should be glued in place good. You can see the two side pieces are glued in place good. Now I'm going to work at making a leather piece for the center here and clamp that in place. Oh, there's my strip, one inch wide, nine and a half inches long. Now we're going to go see how it fits. Now I want to see how my strip fits. I'm going to hold it down on one end, wrap it around. Uh, it's a little bit long. Try it again. Still a little long. You know how it is though. You can always cut it off, but you can't cut it back on. There, that feels just about right. Now I'll put some glue on it and uh, put the cover back down on it and clamp it in place. This Permatex weather strip adhesive appears to be just about the same as, I think it's Permatex 97B gasket sealer. So I have the adhesive in place. Try and get it centered. Now I'm going to try setting the cover down in place on it. There. Now it seems to be in place. There's a slight groove it fits into on that top bearing. 
Okay, there. Now it's down in the place. Clamp it in place again. I gotta cut my my clamping piece a little shorter. Oh, we're gonna clamp it in place now. I'm gonna put a shim in it, get it a little tighter. Now I'll let that till later this afternoon. And then it should be set up good enough and then work on it a little bit more. First I'm gonna pull my brace out and then I'll take the cover off and see how things look. Everything seems to be glued in place quite well. Next I'm gonna try fitting the cover with two bolts to see how much clearance is left because it'll take a little more around the cap a thinner piece I believe and on the two sides a thicker piece to fill in the gap completely so I'm going to try putting the cover on now with a couple of bolts now here at the top cover See, it's not quite tight, but on the sides, oh, I'm seeing how far a screwdriver goes in. We probably have a good eighth of an inch clearance yet on the sides. So first thing I'm going to start with a little thin piece around the top and see if I can get squeezed in place. I have a little thin piece of leather here. I'm going to try on the top and see if I can squeeze it down in place just to see if the thickness is about right. But I'm grabbing that leather piece now. Oh, it's still a little bit of a loose fit on the top I can almost pull it out it probably would do a little sealer in between but it probably gets tighter the same thickness probably won't work around the sides it's tighter on the sides so I'll probably add a little bit more in the center a little bit less on the sides I'll take the cover off again see if I can find a couple more pieces of leather now I'm laying I have two pieces here laying one on each side and I'm going to lay one across the top I'm thinking this might be too tight but I'm going to see if it'll go I'm not glue I'm not gonna glue them in place until I know they'll fit. Drop the cover on again. I'm gonna try wedging it down some. I gotta change my wedging system a little. Ugh. The trick now is to get the right thickness on the leather. So that I can get the cover down tight enough to fit, <sighs> clamp it, but not so tight that you can't get the bolts in. And right now it might be too tight to get the bolts in. Right now I'm trying to get bolts in here, <clears throat> a couple, to check the fit. I can see it's fitting way too tight right now. I'm going to take that center piece of leather out again. I'm just 
just going to put in the two side pieces and see if it'll fit down. I think that's gonna I think that's too tight. I'm gonna try something a little different. Take these two leather strips out. I wanna try laying a piece of denim in there that's considerably thinner. And then the one leather strip that I had in by itself earlier that wasn't quite tight on the top. And we'll see if that'll, if the plate will go in. Try squeezing that down a little. I knew this was going to be a slow, tedious process, getting this fitted. I think I might get it now. I think I might have found the combination now. I got one bolt in. Could have spoke too soon too. I gotta get the other bolt in. I can tell it's a little, a little high. My old friend Alan would be calling these cap screws, not bolts. I'm gonna put this one in down to where it's snug. Well, almost snug. Now. And move my clamping device a little closer over to this side and see if it'll push this side a little more. I'm gonna have to get a little more. clamping pressure on there. Let's see if we can get one started on this side. Just seems like it has to go down just a little bit more. I think it's going to quite make it. Take it out and take a little bit of material off on this side. Or on the side that won't fit. Oh. Take it back off. Oh. 